What is going on guys, Epic Video Game Master here, and today is a training guide for the Reboot server, and also regular MapleStory, this is going to be 2016, uh, winter 2016, whatever you want to call it, uh, training guide for Reboot, and also for regular Maple, this applies to both, so let's get started. Alright, so starting off from level 0 to 10, you just want to go ahead and do the beginner quest line, uh, and some classes the quest line goes a bit longer, such as the shade, uh, so you just want to do the uh, beginner quest line for the shade right to level 30. All right, so for level 10 to 30, uh, you want there's a few spots here. I'm gonna go through. There's some on Victoria Island, some in Pantheon, and some in Edelstein, depending on where your class starts off. So let's start off with the Victoria Island one. You can fight the fairies here at close to the sky, and also the uh, chimney uh, chimney tree, uh, the the blue fairies, and also the other fairies. A great source for all cure potions. Great source for training. Uh, right until level 20. So from level 10 to 20, you can come to these maps. Alright, so once you're around level 20, if you want to continue going in Alinea, you can continue and fight in the giant tree trunk and the giant tree. Uh, these have uh, evil eyes and, co and uh, the other eyes, actually cursed eyes or something like that. And this is a really good map. Uh, I recommend it a lot. This map has a lot of spawn, um, but some classes have a lot of trouble platforming in this map. Now, if you have trouble platforming in this map, you're going to want to come to the Golem Temple 2 or Golem Temple 3 with the Flaming Mixed Golems and the uh, Blue Mixed Golems here. Uh, these are really, really amazing monsters here, give a lot of EXP, and uh, this is an easy platform, flat platforms, there's like three platforms and you can just kind of easily train there. Alright, so now let's go into the Pantheon training spots. Now, there's only one spot that I would really recommend, and that is the Kalung spot in Pantheon. These purple guys are just sexy as heck, and they are awesome here. So you can go ahead and fight Kalung guys here and get a lot of EXP from them. Uh, now let's go into Edelstein from level 10 to 30. You want to go to Edelstein Strolling Path 3 or Streetlight Row in Edelstein, which is the map in the top left from the Garbage Bag map. That map is amazing, you can get a lot of EXP from there. The Street Lights is a two-platformer, and you can just kind of work your way like you see here, uh, just from like right to left, left to right on the top platform, or the other way around, it doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, it's a really awesome map. Alright, so from level 30 to 50, there's a lot of spots you can actually go to here. Now, the first being Enchanted Forest with the uh, Gravy Stonegar here in Pantheon. This map is right next to Kalung. It's the map to the right, and it's really amazing, really amazing map. I love this map a lot. Uh, you can stay here from level 30 right to 50 if you'd like. Uh, now, if you're feeling really daring at around level 45, you can go to the Wild Boar Land and fight these, uh, you know, the boars here. Uh, they're around level 55 or so, and they give a lot of EXP, and there's a lot of spawn, uh, but some classes just can't handle it, so if you can't handle it, uh, then don't worry about it. Now, the main source of training from level 30 to 50 is going to be Gold Beach. Now, when you get there, you want to go ahead and do the quest line, uh, or I think you can get there around level 30, right, by talking to Irvin here, so then you just fight some monsters, get to level 35, and then you should be able to go ahead and start the quest line there and have a good time. Gold Beach is amazing. I really recommend the Flying Fish map or whatever that map is all the way to the right. Near the end, it's an amazing map. Every map in this place is amazing. There's no bad training spot here, especially in the fact that you get a lot of elite bosses here because a lot of other people train here as well. So, I mean, in Reboot, sometimes elite bosses are not as great, but in regular Maple, elite bosses are phenomenal sources of training. So I really recommend Gold Beach from level 30 to 50. Alright, so from level 50 to 70, now there's a few spots that we can actually go to here. The first being Rian Strait. Uh, when you get to Rian Strait here, you want to do the quest line until you can go to this seal map here. Also, the one to the right of the seal map is really amazing. It's a flat map. There's three flat maps in a row here. I recommend the middle one because people who are just doing the quests, um, they just like tend to go to the first one and the last one because it only has one. But the middle one's a mix of both monsters, both seals, and uh, you can do that. Or you can actually just go ahead and finish the quest as well. It doesn't really matter how you guys want to play that out. I mean, I recommend you just stay here and fight here. Um, or you can finish it, or you can do both, it's up to you, uh, but this is really awesome from level 50 right to level like 57 or 58, and if you want to train in these monsters, you can go right to level uh, 65 actually, or 70 even, if you're feeling like that. Alright, so around level 55, you want to go to the Drake map, it's the map to the right in, in, of Sleepy Wood, it's an amazing map, it's a 4 platformer, lots of people train here, lots of elite bosses come, especially if you're in regular Maple Story in the evenings, lots of people gather up and farm some elite bosses here, so you can get a lot of mesos as well as, um, as, well as a lot of good training here, so it's a really amazing map, I recommend it a lot. 
All right, so the next map around level uh, 50 or so is the Wild Boar Land map. Uh, this is the same map that I mentioned before, but this time I recommend you come here around level 50 or so. There's lots of spawn, lots of EXP, lots of monsters to be killed, and it's just an overall amazing map, so I highly recommend it to anyone who is looking for a new new map. I actually discovered this map when I was training my, uh, in the uh, Maple Story Challenge, when I was training my um, White Knight or whatever he is, and I discovered this map to be really amazing. All right, so the next area is going to be in Perion as well. Next to the Wild Boar Land, there's a wooden mask, so the closed area and the excavation intermission site. Now, any of these ma maps will do. I wooden ma mask is not too bad. I would not. Rec I wouldn't. I mean, I would recommend uh, the Officer Skeletons map over the Wooden Masks map, but you'll see them all here, as well as the Skeleton Dogs and Mummy Dogs map. Also, a phenomenal map to train at. Any of these maps will do. Uh, they're all really, really amazing maps. So once you get to like level, around level 60 or so, 60 to 70, you can come to any of these three maps here. They're all amazing maps. All right, guys. So from 70 to 100, the main place from 70 to 140 is going to be Romeo and Juliet PQ. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing spot. You just want to come to this room here and just train and just fight here for like 20 minutes. And you can come in at unlimited times. It's amazing. You go through the party quest entry area, which is amazing. Uh, you can also come to... Uh, from level 70 to like 75 or 80 even, you can go to Officer Skeletons in the closed area. It's an amazing map. Um, but let's say you want to do the monster route and you don't really feel like doing Romeo and Juliet PQ. You can go to Sand Rats and Scorpions in the Sahel 2 Desert, whatever that area is. It's the map to the right. Or if you go into uh, the city of Megatia, you go in the middle portal and you go one map to the left. It's right there. Uh, as well as the Labs area C2 with Roids. Those are, that's another amazing map also in Megatia uh, around level 85 or 90 or so. So if you're getting sick of Romeo and Juliet, you want to take a break, you can come to either of these maps. Sandrat, Scorpions, uh, Lab area C2. And around level 70, if you don't feel like doing Romeo and Juliet PQ, you can go to the closed area and fight Officer Skeletons as well. It's amazing. It's really amazing. I really recommend that Officer Skeletons map. All right, so from 100 to 140, uh, once again, Romeo and Juliet PQ is amazing from 70 right to 140, so I recommend that one. Um, any type of leaf-free monster is okay, uh, but I would not recommend it. But honestly, Toy Factory Robos is probably your best bet, as well as Monster Park Extreme. Here I show some regular Monster Park. This is not extreme, but around level 100 to 140, you can do Monster Park Extreme three times a day, 10 minutes each. Uh, don't spawn the boss. Just keep fighting and spawn the boss when you have like 10 seconds left or something, and so you can kill him quickly, get some extra exp and also get the rewards for it but yeah monster park extreme is amazing toy factory robo is amazing romeo and julia is amazing any type of leaf free monster is amazing and also here i show the unbalanced time map the dual ghost pirates map uh you need some star force to get into this place but it's a really really awesome map these guys give like 12k exp each and you can just keep them jumping down there's a teleporter that'll take you right back up to the top and that should get you right to level 140 guys honestly that is probably your best bet i would recommend romeo and julia pq over anything though all right, so from level 140 to 165, you're going to want to do Dimension Invasion PQ because, well, you can go in uh, five times a day. And it's really amazing. One of the best spots. But let's say you went in five times and you can't, and uh, you have no more uh, tries to go in anymore. You go to Mysterious Path 3. This is in Quay Boat Town, all the way to the right. Uh, as well as you can talk to Ralph the Wanderer, do his quest line, and get a really nice badge as well, the Ghost Exorcist badge. Uh, now, let, MP3 is a very, or Mysterious Path 3 is a very crowded map based on the fact that uh, lots of mesos can be made here in the reboot server. So a lot of high levels are farming here uh, because they're not strong enough to farm in that other place. So uh, what I would recommend is go into the ghost ship. Come to MP3 and then on the right you'll see like a portal going into a ship. Go into the ghost ship uh, and uh, fight in some of those maps there because those maps are usually not as crowded. They're usually pretty good. Uh, you should be able to get some good EXP in there as well. That's only if you, you can't do Dimension Invasion PQ anymore. Uh, monster Park's always a good alternative. Any type of leaf-free monster, once again, is a really good alternative. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't really recommend the leaf-free ones as much. I mean, you can go to Dark Cornians. They're okay. Uh, but honestly, Dimension Invasion PQ is your best bet here. And finally, from level 165 plus, you can go to the Hall of Honor or the Knights Hall or whatever, where the Knights A and B are in Future Hennessies. You go to Future Hennessies, you do a couple quests, and then you can go and fight these guys. Make sure you don't drop your Knights Emblem, otherwise you can't come back in here. Uh, but it's really, really amazing. This is probably your end game training spot. It used to be Ancient Mixed Golems, but they nerfed them and made them do a lot more damage, actually. So, I mean, now it's just this place. Uh, I hope they really release some more higher level content. 
Uh, this applies for reboot and regular, so don't worry for you regular guys and don't worry for you reboot guys out there. Uh, this training guide applies for both of you. Uh, all you amazing people out there. So uh, yeah, so I really hope they put more level 200 plus content out there, more quests, more party quests, more things to get people going because really you're just fighting in this map for the rest of the game and it gets kind of boring. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more awesome stuff. Like it and uh, like the video. Follow me on Twitter, EpicVGM. It's in the description below. Follow me on Twitch as well. Catch the next live stream. I do weekly live streams now and uh, I hope you enjoy. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Don't look back, we're here to stay. A life we knew would come one day. And this is it, the borderline. To where the future leaves us behind. The fire will burn and never die. Looking through the eyes of a brand new life. It's so